Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESG Net, and this is WWE 13 pay-per-view prediction, and we are looking at this Sunday's pay-per-view match between the four divas you're seeing right there in action right now. Uh, AJ Lee, the WWE Divas Champion, uh, going against Natalya, uh, going against no a uh, rookie uh, from NXT now, part of uh, Tons of Funk, and part one, of, one half of the Funk Dackles. Uh, Naomi and the uh, Brie, uh, Bella sister uh, Brie Bella are going to be in action uh, this Sunday uh, at Night of Champions for the for the uh, Divas Championship. I want to say Women's Championship, um, but uh, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think uh, in this video. Who you guys think is going to win? Uh, the match this Sunday, um, they're in the description below. Also, uh, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, uh, like us on Facebook, and also follow us on Tumblr. Uh, we got pictures and everything of game footage from all all the series that we have here on ESGN Net. But let's get back to talking about this match. Um, as you know, three of the four divas are part of uh, E's hit show called Total uh, WWE Total Divas, uh, which airs uh, on Sunday night, uh, I believe at 9 p.m., uh, or excuse me, 10 at 9 central, um, here, uh, there on the E! Network, um, and I've actually got a chance to actually now uh, watch some of the episodes. At first, I was really uh, going to kind of like, no, I'm not going to watch it, I'm just going to just, you know just hear about it and whatnot, but it's actually a really good show, uh, seeing what these divas go through uh, in in and outside of the ring. Uh, the episode I watched was actually a, uh, it was a bachelor and bachelorette party uh, for um, Natalia and uh, uh, Tyson Kidd, uh, who are, are engaged and are going to get married here, I believe, at the end of the year, uh, or if they're already married, I'm not for sure. Because um, that, of course, that was probably that was taped months uh, months ago. But um, yeah, we're um, they're getting they're getting married one night. It was actually a really good a good episode. Um, you know, Naomi, uh, one half of Tony Funk. She has uh, some things she's going through right now, uh, trying to get her singles competitor uh, singles uh, career going and whatnot, along with her and Cameron. Uh, and then, of course, the Brie, Brie going out with Dan Bryan um, once again, and Nikki dating, I believe, John Cena. Um, so, I mean, it's a really good show. I, I, I kind of didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to watch it because I, I didn't want to see the, I don't want to see too much behind the scenes of what goes on, um, you know, prepping for matches and stuff like that. Um, you know, because you, you kind of, you know, you like them as the person that they, that they are, which, you know, you should, but... Then at the same time, they're playing as a heel like Brie, Brie and Nikki. Um, you know, you're, I don't want to lose that feeling like, oh man, I hate these you know, bitches. They're, they're, they're annoying, you know. But at the same time, all oh, men are so, you know, what they're going through in their personal lives is like, I feel bad for them, but it's kind of one of those, you know, double edged swords. So, like I said, it's a really good show. I should check it out on E. Um, but, uh,. But the thing was that really got me was this past week when AJ Lee had her own pipe bomb against these three ladies and then also the other stars of Total Divas, um, in which, in a lot of ways, she was really telling the truth, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, she was talking about how she's not part of the show, which I wish they kind of would put, put her part of the show because uh, at least what I've read about her and, and what I've, uh, you know, behind the scenes type stuff. She's actually gone through a hard life and uh, making. She's a big fan of wrestling. She's always been, and just her way of getting from um, from the Indies to now being a part of this, you know, this global um, entertainment co uh, company. Uh, she actually, uh, she's actually done. Her, she's paid her time. She, she paid her dues and whatnot. So um, it. It was a really good pipe bomb. I really don't want to call it a pipe bomb, but it was. Actually, she was actually telling the truth a lot about a lot of the viewers and what goes on. Uh, the stuff you hear about, uh, you know, rumors and stuff like that, and different blogs and, and websites, wrestling websites and stuff like that. So, um, but it's, it, it should be a really entertaining match. And then you see Naomi, uh, according to this prediction, she's going to win the match this Sunday on pay per view. So. Uh, definitely check out the match. Definitely check out the pay-per-view. There's going to be a lot of matches going on. 
and it should be a fun, very fun, exciting event. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I definitely say you go watch it. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of surprises. Uh, it's going to be a good night. So, uh, as always, you guys, keep yourselves healthy. Again, like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter, and also on Tumblr. Uh, but that is it for this episode of ESG Net uh, WWE 13. Uh, for review predictions. As always, keep yourselves healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.